What's Twinkling, my Twinklers? It's your girl Twinkle Toes Liz back with another video. And as you guys saw from my last video, don't mind my birds, they're just chirping away in the middle of the night. Um, but as you saw in my last video, we had four fertile eggs. And well, we thought it was four, but it was three. But all of a sudden, the fourth egg that we thought wasn't fertile apparently exploded in veins. And um, so, couple days went by the eggs after two weeks hatched sorry I didn't like do this video a while ago but um, all four eggs did hatch um, but all of a sudden the parents started acting weird after the eggs would hatch each after like one or two days the parents would kill the babies for no reason at all and I'm presuming they were like stressed because they're new parents they didn't know what they were doing so they end up killing three of the babies, but the one that was a little bit uh, late is the one you're seeing right now. Now he is very, very tiny, and the parents actually tried to kill him um, a couple times, but failed to. Um, so this morning I woke up, I found him thrown out of the nest and just on the ground. I thought he was dead at first, but apparently, luckily, he's alive. As you can see, he's moving. He's just sleeping right now. Um, but this is the baby that I think is the youngest out of all of them. Um, I think he's like the Saturday baby or something, because they each um, they were laid on a Wednesday, Thursday, then skipped the Friday to a Saturday. So I'm presuming this is the Saturday baby. So I decided I wanted to rescue this baby before the parents killed this one as well. So I took out the baby today and I started hand feeding. Sorry I didn't show you early in the morning me taking out the baby and stuff and me just hand feeding it. Um, I was in a hurry, I was in a rush, I had to go to places, I had to get the formula. And so I didn't record that but I guess later on um, I will do... Uh, a video tonight of me hand feeding but if you guys saw my videos in the past of me hand feeding yes it's basically the same thing just hand feeding over and over and if you guys uh, want to do it yourself um, it, it's kind of and you want me to teach you uh, it's kind of hard if I were to teach you through this video because I can't quite show you like how to do it um, basically what I like to do is teach people in person. So if you're living in the New Brunswick area and you want me to teach you how to hand feed these zebra finches, um, then uh, just let me know. I don't drive apparently guys, so probably I'll get my dad to drive me because I don't drive apparently. Uh, but sure, I would love to come to your house or come to wherever you want and I could teach you how to hand feed these babies. Uh, if you're new to zebra finch breeding and you want to hand tame these birds, all I can say is to hand tame zebra finches, uh, you start hand taming them, hand feeding them at 10 days old, which I don't know exactly the age of this one, um, but I'm presuming he's like a Saturday kind of baby. So let's see. So he's only like seven days old. Um, it's pretty young. I usually wait till 10 days, but it was an emergency, guys. So yeah, um, this is a little baby, as you can see. Um, he's super tiny, so I have the camera zoomed in on him. And he's very sensitive to light, and I have the light on for quite a while for you guys to see. Um, but yeah, I feed him every four hours, seven days a week. 24 7 around the clock even in the morning I had to feed him so hopefully he can survive um, I'm trying to keep him alive um, hopefully he can survive he does have some deformities I'm thinking his wings don't look right or his legs he walks a little funny and he's not digesting his food very well as you can see the little tiny wrinkle in the side there that's his stomach um, not digesting very well but we'll work with it hopefully he can survive and not die on me um, I've had passes where I try to save a baby zebra finch but sometimes 
you know guys things don't go right and the baby just randomly dies so yeah I'm probably gonna do a video of me hand feeding later on so I will see you guys in a couple hours Okay guys, so it's been about four hours now, so it's time to feed the baby. As you can tell, I have a little bit of a syringe right here. Um, it, I have the camera really zoomed in on him and I might block your view because I'm bad at camera angles, guys, as usual. You know how I am. And you turn the other way, so I'll do my best. Oh, he's opening his mouth. He knows it's food time. He knows it's food time. So, as you can see, if you have seen the formula exact, it's like this thing right here. Sorry if it's so close. But um, it's basically a bird formula. And I make it very, very liquidy at first when they're babies because they can't swallow thick. So, I just give him a full syringe like that and I'm gonna try I'm gonna see if I can I'll put this up here so I don't spill it and I don't know if you guys can see very well I gotta be very quiet so I'm only doing one drop at a time it's so hard to feed him because he's so small. Yeah, it's very hard. Because when these birds are small, they are very hard and you don't want to make mistakes with this. If you do, then he's gonna, there. So I'm only doing small drops at a time. So he doesn't. There, he moves around a lot, but I hope I'm in frame for that. Yeah, he's very weak. There. So I do my best what I can to feed him. He is very weak, but I do my best to care for him. make sure he doesn't eat he does cry for food but as you can see his gullet's getting full and he's turning my way yay he sees that he knows there there you go kind of put a little too much there but i'll let him swallow that there and there goes my birds again num 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 So, he's swallowing that, and I like to touch them to make sure if they want more or not, making sure he's not getting out of frame. Um, his eyes are sealed. There. I think he's full. I think he's a little full. Cause usually they would really cry, but he's just like... There. I only do one drop at a time. Sorry if I'm repeating that, but those of you who don't know, you just gotta know sometimes. Um, and this is very crucial that I do a couple drops. Um, just to let everyone know the reason why I'm repeating this is because... Um, you need to be extremely careful. Any mistakes go wrong and your bird can die. So his gillet is kind of full, looks like it. It's on one side. Yeah, it should be full. Because he doesn't get much. As you can see, when I'm not shaking it, that food's all the way down there and the rest is just like water. 
So the food goes in first, but I make it very liquidy. So, um, I don't wanna feed him too much cause his gillet will get too full and then I will overfeed him. So, I just know when A is full cause you can see in the stomach, um, the little bubble right here you see on his neck, that's actually his stomach. There, so he's just like swallowing it in, taking it in. Um, that's where he gets to digest. So. There, I'm just cleaning him up a bit. He's very cold. Um, those of you who think that, um, sorry if I'm being quiet again, when I'm quiet when I do these things because I can make mistakes. Um, those of you who do know to hand feed birds and you think I'm like, you know, not feeding him much. This is something I do. So I have my own opinion, guys. You do your opinion, I do mine kind of thing. So I am not starving him, at least I'm feeding him, so. And I don't wanna overfeed him. And then I'm just like, I'm being very quiet because uh, I'm just making sure he's digesting. You want to observe your bird every single time by touching them, see if they're reacting. And I want to make sure he's eaten. And he looks very, very tired. So. Looks very tired. So. Oh, his tummy a little growled. tummy growled. What well, sometimes with these birds, if you feed them too much, they just throw up all the food, then you have to feed them again because they just threw up all that food. Um, but yeah, that's it, me feeding uh, my bird. Um, he's really reactive when I touch him. Obviously, he thinks that's food. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically it. And what I do every four hours is just feeding him. So I'm gonna end it off here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I am going to be making a video where I just do like clips of me feeding from every four hours so you guys know well, the times I'm making it. And then when I run out of this food, um, I'm gonna do a video where I show you how I make it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Hopefully it'll be out by tonight or tomorrow. If you're seeing this, it'll be probably out tomorrow. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, me feeding him. Hope I got the right shots um, for you. And as always, if you guys liked it, twinkle eyes that like button as much as you can. And I will twinkle you guys in the next video. Bye. Tell me like a hell cut. Oh, 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 o